Good morning. I'm pleased to declare Quinnipiac University's 2019 commencement exercises for the School of Health Sciences and the School of Nursing officially open. Would everyone please stand for the national anthem, which will be performed by Taina Echeverria, class of 2021. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave Thank you. Please be seated. I'd like to acknowledge the platform party, which includes trustees, deans, university administrators, and faculty representatives, as well as our commencement speaker. It's now my privilege to present Dr. Judy Olian, president of Quinnipiac University, who will bring you greetings on behalf of the university community. everyone and welcome. I'm delighted to be here with everyone today to celebrate this unforgettable milestone in our graduates' lives. This commencement marks an exciting and perhaps slightly anxious time for you, our graduates. For the past few years, Quinnipiac has been your home. Please know it will always be your home and we hope you come back often. We are your constant, in addition to your families, in this momentous time of change for you. Now before I heap all of the praise on you, the graduates, let us all acknowledge those who were here with you for your entire journey. Parents, partners, close friends, who helped you every step of the way. Let us congratulate them too, with deep gratitude for all they did to make this day possible. You've shared in a very special time of learning and growth while here at Quinnipiac because of all this university, your schools, your faculty and support staff have to offer. But the truth is that your experience was transformational because of what each of you contributed and made of your experience here. It is you. You've been engaged and you've been caring, leaders in your own right, and you've left an indelible mark that will benefit future generations of graduates. Communities need you now more than ever. We live in times of social and political polarization, of growing tensions along economic, gender, racial, ethnic, and religious divides. At the same time, we are experiencing the excitement and opportunities of breakthroughs in personalized medicine and precision health the application of data sciences to advance treatments for devastating diseases, new patient service models, and life-extending preventative health strategies. 
exploiting these opportunities and deploying innovations wisely could alleviate social tensions and improve the quality of living for communities and even nations that have been previously deprived. You are the generation that can achieve this. You're so well prepared to help alleviate societal ills, to address chronic disease and the needs of an aging population, and also to assist in conducting the necessary research to seize the opportunities of rapidly advancing technologies and scientific discovery that will improve the quality of life for so many. This is an exciting time, and you are so well prepared to join this accelerating wave of innovation and socially impactful change. You're already doing your part. Your caring and dedication have extended to local and global communities. You're each ambitious, talented, compassionate, and curious. And most importantly, you conduct yourselves with integrity and decency. I expect that as you look back over your time at QU, you'll marvel at the remarkable breadth of experiences you've had, high impact class projects, courses that have changed how you think about the world, research collaborations alongside superbly talented faculty, and friendships formed for life with some of the best people you'll ever meet. As you go forth as Quinnipiac alumni, I encourage you to help others as you've been helped along the way, whether opening doors for future generations who follow you, bringing purpose and integrity to your chosen career path, assisting neighbors in the community, reaching out to children who are not benefiting from the childhood or education they deserve, joining research teams because of the promise of societal impact, or tending to patients who seek your compassion. I'm gonna end with two stories, one about me, one about a very close friend of mine, to make two points that I hope will help you as you move to the next exciting stages of your lives. The first point is that failure isn't fatal. It's an essential step in the pathway of life. While I was in my last year as an undergraduate at the Hebrew University, I worked the second shift as the assistant in the office of one of the most senior leaders of the university. It was a stretch because I'd never done anything like that before, and it was a big deal to be working there. Well, within a few short months, I was fired. I still don't quite know why I was fired, but I think I was a bit too cheeky in questioning things from my lowly perch, and perhaps it had something to do with my gender. I was mortified that I had failed, quotation marks, and I wanted to crawl under a rock. Somehow, through gutsiness or naivete or both, I applied for an aspirational job in the Prime Minister's office in Israel. In my interview, I shared, somewhat sheepishly, that I'd been fired, why I thought it happened and what I'd learned from that experience. To my utter surprise, they still hired me. Perhaps my candor and my self-reflection about that embarrassing experience got me the job, which turned out to be a fantastically interesting growth opportunity that was significant for my life and what came later in my life. You see, failure is never fatal. It can be a stepping stone to success if you take the time to learn from it. The second story is about seizing opportunity. My oldest friend was my immediate neighbor in Melbourne, Australia. We grew up together and our families were very close. We've remained connected over the years. She became a very successful broadcast journalist and director in Australia, while my path brought me here to the US. After her parents had passed away, she discovered that her dad wasn't really her dad. Someone else in her town was her biological father, and that now she had six new half-brothers and sisters. Obviously, the conflicting and painful emotions of that discovery were hard to fathom. She called to tell me of all of this as she was going through the process of discovery. I asked her what she planned to do next. She shared that she was determined to go meet her biological father, camera in tow. And she did, capturing the remarkable moment of meeting him on film. 
Since then, she's developed a rich and complex relationship with her newfound family, all on film. It's been a mix of blessings that grow out of becoming part of a new family unit, as well as some challenges that have come with it. That film, about this very interesting Australian family as it found ways to weave itself together was shown last night at the New Haven International Film Festival. Now, that is what I call seizing opportunity. Remarkable events will happen in your life. You can let them hold you back or even critical, or even cripple you. Sometimes these opportunities will just be missed as non-events or you can turn them into gifts in your life. I say, seize the opportunity. I encourage you to remain curious and open to the new, to continue learning and growing in our rapidly changing world. We don't know what we'll need to know in 10 years or even in five years. What we do know is that to be successful and enlightened, we must be lifelong learners. We will be forever proud of you and will follow your life's journey with great interest. Please remain a bobcat for life. Stay connected wherever you land. Find ways to remain in touch with your fellow QU family and engage in lifelong growth and learning, also through QU. Congratulations, class of 2019. Remember, don't be afraid of failure and seize opportunity. You've already made your mark and you will continue to do so and we cannot wait to see how you change the world. Thank you. It's now my privilege to introduce Dr. William Kolhep, Dean of the School of Health Sciences, to introduce our commencement speaker. Good morning. Brian Donahue, a third generation US Marine, was diagnosed at age 22 with a rare and deadly liver disease and given just three to six months to live. With uncommon courage and conviction, Donahue applied the lessons he had learned from his family and the Marine Corps, namely strength and perseverance. More than two decades later, Brian is a survivor thanks to a life-saving liver transplant. He's also a motivational speaker and author of On Borrowed Time, How I Built Life While Beating Death. By motivating, inspiring, and educating, he helps his audiences realize their maximum potential, living their lives without regret. When I met for, for lunch with Brian, I only knew that part of the story, but clearly, his life has become so much more, particularly in his service to veterans. Brian serves as the veteran advisor to the Mohegan Sun and leads its Vets Rock program. He serves as president and chairman of Fisher House in Boston, which provides safe and comfortable lodging to the families of veterans receiving care in the VA Boston healthcare system. And if his work with veterans isn't enough, through his namesake Brian Donahue Humanitarian Award, he tries to positively impact the future of a graduating eighth grader at North Haven Middle School. Please join me in welcoming our commencement speaker, Brian Donahue. Thank you, and good morning. To say we have a perfect day today would be an understatement. Blue sky and graduates. I want to thank Dr. Judy Olian, Provost Mark Thompson, Dean William Kolhep, Dean Lisa O'Connor, and welcome distinguished guests, families, and graduates. I'm truly honored to be here with you today. As a Hamden native, I grew up in the shadow of Sleeping Giant, and I'm constantly amazed at the strategic growth Quinnipiac University has achieved over the years. It's exciting to think about where this school, where this university will be in the future. 
Last month, Dr. Olian said, Quinnipiac University is a university defined by constant beginnings. I have witnessed so many of these new beginnings throughout my life, and, am, and I feel blessed to be part of the class of 2019's new beginning. May has always been a pivotal month for me in many ways. It signifies new life, new beginnings, opportunity for change. For, for me, 21 years ago this month, at the age of 22, I was told I had an estimated three to six months to live. As a third generation United States Marine, I thought I was invincible. Yet, I knew I was in for the fight of my life. The tricky thing for me to mentally grasp was that the enemy for me was internal. Every ounce of discipline, mental toughness, determination would be tested at levels I didn't even know existed. I was diagnosed with a rare chronic liver disease known as primary sclerosing cholangitis. There is no known cure and no cause, known cause. My life changed in an instant. I had to focus on being positive and fight daily to prove that prognosis wrong. I developed strategies to keep, to keep focused on being positive even when I wanted to quit. I always repeated sayings in my head, like quitters never win and winners never quit. I broke my life down to deal with it. I truly live by the thought, inch by inch, life's a cinch, yard by yard, life's hard. I tried to focus on what I wanted to happen, because after all, we all know the definition of worry is simply thinking about what you don't want to happen. I lived the best life I could with hopes of leaving some sort of legacy. As I was living my life, while simultaneously fighting for it, it became clear to me I was just one member of the team that was in this fight. Every degree represented here today played a vital role in our team's success. It wasn't my team, it was our team. When I wanted to give up, the professionals that you are about to become would look me in the eyes and say, not today. They figuratively and at times literally carried me when I needed it most. In my mind, you have big shoes to fill. I'm confident you will rise to the challenge with the same passion and solid educational knowledge to help your team win. As individuals, you will accept degrees today. Always be mindful there was a team working with you. It may have been your roommates, your classmates, professors, or family. Your team will change, and so will your role, but never lose your uniqueness. Always remember, it's that uniqueness that contributes to your team's greatness. There's a member of my team here today. He's an adjunct faculty member in the School of Nursing. He's the main reason my team is undefeated. I want to acknowledge my brother-in-law, Jeff Agley, who gave me 60% of his liver and ultimately saved my life. Jeff, can you stand? So just a, a quick story, whenever I call Jeff now and say, hey, I need a favor, the, uh, <laughs> the usual response is, you're not getting one of the kidneys. <laughs> As you move out of your dorms and across the stage toward your new beginnings, don't rush it. Take a moment and realize what you have accomplished. Be proud of yourself. When I was first diagnosed, I felt like I was so far behind in life, yet I wished it was yesterday forever. It, it, became, it, it quickly became clear that I was more afraid that I hadn't had a chance to live than the thought, of that I, the thought that I might die. I vowed to live in the moment. You'll learn from yesterday, live for today, and tomorrow will take care of itself. My wife, Leah, who was my girlfriend at the time I was diagnosed, came up with the thought of living with no regrets. It was more of a focus on the fear of change or taking chances pales in comparison to the regret of passing on an opportunity that we may never have again. Live your life to the fullest and get comfortable in knowing that no one expects you to know exactly what you're gonna do the rest of your life. That being said, there are a few things that you need to solidify internally as soon as you can. You will need to know your worth, especially when others don't. Know what you stand for, even if that means you stand alone. And know who you truly are. It matters far more what you think of yourself than what anyone thinks of you. The healthcare professionals that saved my life knew exactly who they were. Based on my personal experiences with them, I was able to see a common characteristic that they all possessed. 
selflessness, knowledge, empathy, and confidence. In life and in our careers, it's not what you get that makes you special. It's what you give that makes you extraordinary. Give far more than you expect in return, and you will be rewarded. For some, it might be financial. Or for others, it may be simply laying your head on your pillow at night and knowing you made a difference in someone's life. Either way, give with the purest of intentions. And whatever you decide to do in the future, get in it for the outcome, not just simply the income. Your sense of fulfillment in life will skyrocket. I was a mortgage banker for 16 years, and I was perfectly happy with my career. That is until I discovered what I was meant to do. You see, I was re-diagnosed with the same liver disease a few years back, and it really made me reevaluate my life and what's important to me. Maybe some of you will be part of my new team moving forward, and if by chance this does happen, please accept my apologies in advance. I hate being sick, and I'm a self-admitted horrible patient. I came to the realization that I never finished my military career um, when I had, that I had signed up for due to my illness. I was honorably discharged, yet I felt a lack of completion. All these years later, I decided to revisit that legacy thing. I was busy living, but still felt the void. I needed to make my family proud and set an example for my kids to give back and truly love what you do. A George H.W. Bush quote is constantly in my mind. There could be no definition of a successful life that does not include service to others. There is no doubt you'll be serving others in your noble fields. The puzzle piece that's missing is how you will individually define that success that you will achieve. Now that I've discovered what I'm meant to do, I became a veteran and military advocate, and I immersed myself into that community, continuing to serve, add value, and build relationships. In the beginning, I had no idea what I was doing or what I was in for. Similar to the careers that you will eventually embark on, I had to improvise, adapt, and overcome. I quickly came to realize that showing up and showing that I cared was all I initially needed. Everything else could be built on that. Keep your promises, follow through, and be consistent. Everything else will fall into place. In any community or industry, you become aware of similar eth efforts by others. I want to acknowledge what the university is doing for our military and veterans. In 2009, Quinnipiac became part of the Yellow Ribbon Program. The university has been named one of the best four-year universities for veterans by Military Times. They have partnered with the DOD and the VA to create seamless process for our heroes. These initiatives come from the top down, and it's obvious to someone in my position that Quinnipiac is leading from the front. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said once, if a man has not discovered what he's willing to die for, he's not fit to live. The men and women of our military, they know what they're willing to die for. It's us, it's our freedom, and it's our way of life. A quick visual back to grade school, middle school, or high school um, is Maslow's hierarchy of need. It's that pyramid that we all know so well. At the stable foundational levels of that pyramid, there's food, water, safety, security, shelter. And then at the tip, there's self-actualization. This is mission accomplishment for our military. The sad thing for the men and women in uniform, their pyramid is inverted and they live at that unstable tip. They sacrifice their stable foundational levels for our freedom. I want to personally thank the university for recognizing this and helping the military reestablish those basic needs. The initiatives that the university has created not only include veterans, but more importantly, makes them feel included. I have found my passion, and I'm confident that if you have not already found yours, you will. Don't rush it and don't force it. It'll naturally happen. When in doubt, fall back on your education, and you've received a phenomenal one here today. Own those tough decisions. Focus on the positive aspects of life and master the tasks you need to complete in order to be successful. I want to congratulate the class of 2019 and wish you successful careers in your pursuit of happiness. Never forget where you came from, and always remember the rearview mirror is significantly smaller than the windshield. And in closing, I would like to echo the words of my late friend, neighbor, and former Dean of Education here at Quinnipiac, Kevin Basmajan. Make it a great day. Thank you.
Brian, thank you for your service to our country and thank you for your message today. It's deeply appreciated. It's now my uh, pleasure to ask Dean Kolhep to proceed to the degree area and my privilege to call forward Cindy Christie, Assistant Dean for Career Development, who will introduce the School of Health Sciences candidates for degrees. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science from the School of Health Sciences please approach the stage. Marshals, please direct the candidates to the platform. Apura Abbey. Lindsay Ann Albee. Shelley Ann Alden. Emily Rose Alderman. Rachel Elizabeth Alaprandi. Colby Altarelli. Kayla N. Angelo. Joyce Anoche. Catherine J. Antonello. Elise Marie Arsenault. Amy Beth Aubin. Julia Ann Bailey. Rachel Elizabeth Balistracy. Allison Nicole Balki. Gabrielle Elizabeth Balzarini. Ethan Matthew Bankowski. Edwin Chadwell Barrett V. Emma Janet Bartholomew. Jonathan Gregory Becker. Leanna Michelle Bean. Jenna Marie Bell. Megan Nicole Benedetto. Teresa M. Bengston. Crystal Rena Berger. Jamie Claire Eisenberger Berger. Haley Paige Berquist. Alexander Raphael Burnaby. Janelle Marie Berry. Sierra Joy Best. Krista Elsbeth Granberry Byer. Alexis Ray Bissonette. Brian Christopher Bame. Megan Michelle Bongart. Janice A. Boone. Nicholas James Borgman. Nicole Ashley Boritz. Madison Marie Borowick. Nicole Mary Basta. Jessica E. Bracamonte. Gianna Catherine Bracco. Trinity Lee Brandt. Haley Elizabeth Brannon. Taylor Kyle Brashear. Jessica Ashley Breton. 
Jacqueline T. Brigandi. Patrick James Brooks. Jenna Lee Brophy. Gabrielle Buckman. Kayla Elizabeth Budin. Taylor Bulin. Abigail Elizabeth Bertone. Neve Mary Butler. Robert J. Campbell. Kristen Candela. Melissa Lily Cananico. Kaylee Marie Capraro. Chelsea Marie Carducci. Jessica Carlone. Caitlin Marie Carr. Selena Carrero. Morgan Alexis Carter. Lane Anderson Cassidy. John Tyler Edward Castellanetti. <laughs> Kelly Ann Cates. Adrian Kitchen. Dylan J. Chand. Morgan Jillian Chiacera. Matthew Rosario Chinisi. Juliana Chiodi. James William Chow. Vanessa Ann Christie. Georgina Elaine Christopoulos. Samantha Alice Clift. Zoe Hughes Cole. Melissa Ann Connealy. Caroline Elizabeth Conti. Christina Marie Cosmo. Elizabeth Byrne Costello. Lillian Codis. Helena Abigail Valiente Cruz. Sarah Nicole Cullen. Ryan F. Curran. William John Cutrone. Congrats. Ryan David Catita. Nicholas Paul Zapp. Matthew DaCosta. Caitlin Daly. Michelle Emma D'Amelio. Angelina Maria Damiano. Caitlin Elisa D'Aquila. Drew Evan Da Silva. Molly Colville Davis. Congrats. Ashley E. Daw. Michaela Ann Day. Victoria K. De La Rosa. 
Frank Anthony Dean. Christopher William Decker. Caitlin Rose DeCroto. Hope Elizabeth Dijon. Carly Nicole Delamonico. Justin Delgado. Molly Ann Demgard. Christina Marie DePaulis. Caitlin Elizabeth De Rocher. Jenna Marie DiVincenzo. Erica A. DeMeo. Devin M. Dickinson. Madeline Carol Dixon. Gregory Richard DM. Carolyn Lily DeMaria. Jessica Catherine DeMasi. Courtney Elizabeth Donovan. Caitlin Ann Dooley. Adriana Isabel Dos Santos. Christopher Brian Doss. Katiri Eileen Downs. Demarest Pentafalo Drummy. Anne Claire Duma. Caitlin Colina Dumont. Janelle M. Duran. Faye Rose Irwin. Ijoma Chinyelu Ezekoli. Lubna Ahmed Faruqi. Hannah Roslyn Feldman Brown. Diana Maria Femia. Diana is the recipient of the Health Science Studies Student Achievement Award. Congratulations, Diana. <laughs> Alexis K. Ferrara. Nadia Luba Filipic. Alexis Nicole Finkel. Caroline Grace Finn. Kelly Elizabeth Flaherty. Brianna Jean Forchino. Elizabeth Teresa Foy. Kayla J. Frasetto. Elizabeth Ann Freeman. Annabelle Eve Fremgen. Annabelle is the recipient of the Diagnostic Medical Sonography Achievement Award. Congratulations, Annabelle. Katrina Jewel Friedman. Jennifer Louise Fusco. Richard J. Fusco. Chelsea Amber Gabbley. Nicole Christine Gachi. Gina Angelina Gagliardi. Nicolina Marie Gagnon. Nicole Lucia Galela. Renee Lynn Gallant. Michaela Ann 
Galley. Christina Michelle Galuzzo. Kirsten Marie Gardner. Lauren Moran Gardner. Sierra Rose Gelsomini. Athanasia Elizabeth Geiger. Maxime Simon Giesen. Benjamin Alexander Gill. Cole Gill. Kelsey Elizabeth Gerard. Caitlin Marie Geronda. Jalen Elise Gomes. Leela Danielle Gonzalves. Kelly Marie Gorman. Maraid Gormley. Samantha Lee Graff. Kara Marie Gravelisi. Gabrielle Marissa Gualtieri. Michaela Gard. Haley Nicole Gorasino. Kirsten Gay Garrett. Alexa Brielle Guerrero. Brandon Charles Hadkey. Okay. Kylie Field Haddock. Sarah Ellen Hanley. Alexis Virginia Hardesty. Elizabeth Lynn Harlow. Eric K. Harris. Rachel Elizabeth Harris. Rachel Nicole. Harris. Courtney Ann Hart. Morgan Lee Hassa. Amy Catherine Hauser. Olivia Stanton Helker. Jenna Shea Henningsen. Abigail Hannah Herman. Allison Nicole Hickey. Rachel Marie Hickey. Ryan Joseph Hicks. Ryan is the recipient of the Harold Potts Memorial Physical Therapy Award and the Philip Troop Achievement Prize. Congratulations, Ryan. Catherine Alice Hill. Brittany Paige Hogan. Annalena Hollihan. Kip Edward Hopper. Kip is the recipient of three awards. The Biomedical Sciences Achievement Award, the Alumni Association Academic Achievement Award for the School of Health Sciences, and the President's Scholarship Award. He is joined by his parents. <laughs> Kelly and Greg Hopper. Congratulations, Kip. Heather Elizabeth Howe. John Murphy Hunter. T. 
Tiasia M. Hunter. Devin Igo. Beza Alem Indeshaw. Christopher A. Inlaw. Marianne Catherine Integlia. Krista Charlene Iwanicki. Emily Grace Jackson. Lauren Victoria Jameson. Jessica Joas. Claire Patricia Johannesson. Kaylee Brianna Johnson. Tyler Christopher Johnson. Kelly Marie Jones. Hannah Catherine Jordan. Nicole Elizabeth Kalinowski. Sarah Nicole Carr. Rena M. Katsev. Brittany Sage Carney. Emily Victoria Keevy. Siobhan Margaret Kempel. Emily Catherine Kennington. Emily is the recipient of the Alumni Association Academic Achievement Award for the School of Health Sciences and the President's Scholarship Award. She is joined on stage by her parents, Lori and Paul Kennington. Congratulations, Emily. Amanda Marie Kenny. Brenna Ann Kent. Alexander John Ketterer. John Killa. Valerie Kodorvsky. Rachel Florence Kirchhoff. Claire Jillian Knust. Luke Nabi Korkimaz. Julia G. Kowal. Julia is the recipient of the Occupational Therapy Academic Achievement Award. Congratulations, Julia. Cassandra Krebs. Alexandra Nicole Kuntz. Joseph Claude LaBelle, Jr. Joseph is the recipient of the Ryan J. O'Neill Entry Level Master's Physician Assistant Award. Congratulations, Joseph. Mariah Faith LaFoe. Mariah is the recipient of the Health Science Studies BS Degree Completion Program Achievement Award. Congratulations, Mariah. <laughs> Brianna Marie Lambert. Kylie Marie Lance. Emma Lindsay Landman. Fiona Margaret Lapierre. Rory Ann Lavery. Sarah Rose Lazaro. Kelly Elizabeth Leach. Lauren Taylor Letterman. Amy Elizabeth Leggio. Addison Charles Lee. Jessica Elise Leonard. 
Jessica is the recipient of the Occupational Therapy Service Leadership Award. Congratulations, Jessica. Julia Danielle Lieberman. Proifon Loha Pison. Robert M. Lynch, Jr. Allison Lubchenko. John Anthony McCone. Catherine Ann McKenzie. Jack Tabor McNevin. Christina Johanna Majacomo. Olivia Rachel McGuire. Lauren Stacy Marr. Melissa Ashley Mahoney. Devin Lindsay Malcolm. Carrie Alyssa Malloy. Matthew Anthony Manzo. Nicole Diane March. Randy Brooke Marcon. Kaina E. Martone. Victoria Alicia Mason. Erica Janine Matuosi. Nicole Matwatrov. Hannah Marie Mayer. Janae M. Mayo. Cameron Christopher McCall. Ryan Christopher McConville. Alexa Christine McHugh. Kira Ann McDonald. Megan Louise McDonough. Ailish M. McGeehan. Aaron McGuire. Kylie Elizabeth McCurgan. Melissa Joan McClune. John Patrick McTeague. Robert Medina. Mark Melkin. Brianna Victoria Mendel. Casey Susan Mikulowski. Megan Christine Makutsky. Brianne Patrice Miller. Catherine Emily Miller. Morgan Elizabeth Miller. Devin Lee Merlis. Nicole Diana Modell. Nicole is the recipient of the Radiologic Sciences Student Achievement Award. Congratulations, Nicole. Mackenzie R. Molitar. Zoe Elizabeth Moniz. Caroline Ann Montera. Aiden Patrick Morley. Jensen Marie Mortica. Jennifer R. Mulrooney. Katie Ann Murphy. Tara Barbara Murray. Tiaqua Naim. Bryce George Nalls. Jin Namkung. Anna Colleen Nardelli. Haley Marie Natikioni. 
Jake Carlisle Neeran. Holly Christina Nelson. Catherine Gail Nelson. Casey L. Neubauer. Brooke Lauren Newman. Caitlin Vihan No. Jordan Arlene Nolan. Kelly Christina O'Brien. Eileen Margaret O'Connor. Emma Marie O'Connor. Haley Ann Orifice. Rebecca Ann Orsini. Zaya Eugene Oshana. Maraid Rose O'Sullivan. Madeline Danielle Willette. Madeline is the recipient of the Alumni Association Academic Achievement Award for the School of Health Sciences and the President's Scholarship Award. She is joined on stage by her parents, Stephanie and Daniel Willette. Congratulations, Madeline. Jessica Nicole Owens. William Michael Pacheco II. Sabrina Christine Palma. Daniel Santiago Pardo. Sarah Elizabeth Passaretti. Twinkle Rajesh Patel. Samantha Marie Pelly. Alyssa A. Percival. Michelle Lauren Perez. Jennifer Lynn Peterson. Nicole Mary Pia. Christopher William Piccioni. Michaela Margaret Potter. Anthony Martin Prada. Bridget N. Prescott. Ashley Nicole Prianti. Ashley is the recipient of the H. Pierce Family Community Leadership Award. Congratulations, Ashley. Kila May, Kyla May Prosper. Courtney Jessica Perciello. Ariana Pustari. David Michael Quinn Jr. Carly Danielle Radcliffe. Taylor Nicole Ray. Meredith Joanna Ramsey. Kayla Alice Rader. Miguel Angel Raymond. Aaron Elizabeth Redding. Ethan Patrick Reaver. Ethan is the recipient of the Microbiology and Immunology Student Achievement Award. Congratulations, Ethan. Mia Elise Reich. Joseph Carl Ravel. Kathleen Mary Rice. Laurel Elizabeth Richards. Jake Lucas Renzo. Marissa Kathleen Rivera. 
Chelsea Marie Rojas, Caitlin Ada Ruz, Madison Nancy Root, Jenny Elizabeth Rothschild, Francesca Louise Rufino, Peyton Rose Rufo, Ashley Margaret Ryan, Sierra Ellen Ryan, Isabella Rose Safiati, Apoorva Tom Sajan, Alexandra Sakalos, Molly Beth Salant, Rachel Celia Samsey, Emily M. Sanchez, Patricia Sanchez Gonzalez, Ariana Mercedes Severino, Samantha Nicole Scalabrini, Jake Anthony Scalfano, Alexa L. Scarola, Antonia Marie Scarola. Rebecca Dylan Shadoff, Haley Ann Schaefer, Alexandra Danielle Schlapp, Hope Sarah Schlegel, Danielle Ann Schwab. Arissa Jean Schweiss, Brianna Lynn Scotty, Megan Grace Scullin, Alexis Juliana Siegel, Rachel Lauren Seplo. Kyle Kyung Setsko, Stephanie Sarah Shaloff, Lauren E. Shanley, Emily Rose Shregast, Beatrice Suarez Silva, Mercedes. Barbara Silva, Lauren Nicole Silversea, Dominic Rocco Saravo, Brittany Nicole Smith, Julianne Noel Smith. Madison Smith, Kristen Rose Sobolewski, Jasmine Ariel Solomon, Matthew Frank Spinello, Luke Daniel Brian Stanks. Christopher John Stankowitz, Jr. Celia Rachel Steiker Pearl. Jenna Marie Stellato. Nicole Lee Stellato. Colin Robert Stevenson. 
Megan Lee Stitch. Alexandria Grace Styers. Michael Joseph Stofko. Samantha Lorraine Stoika. Caitlin Elizabeth Stokarski. Ashley Nicole Stull. Tyler John Sudall. Kevin Patrick Sullivan. Sean Michael Sweeney. Shelby Nicole Syracuse. Charles Martin Tabit. Taylor Rose Tango. Taylor is the recipient of the Alumni Association Academic Achievement Award for the School of Health Sciences and the President's Scholarship Award. She is joined on stage by her parents, Natalie and Michael Tango. Congratulations, Taylor. Sarah Ann Tassinari. Lucas J. Texera. Annalisa Termini. Andrew Edward Thane. Alexis Dominica Theodorakis. Brianna Ashanti Thompson. Andy Curtis Thorne, Jr. Victoria Catherine Tibbetts. Hannah Tisser. Jake Andrew Tobias. Brandon Lawrence Tong. Nicole Marie Tory. Nicole Robin Trudson. Yadley Turnier. Justin Matthew Tushoff. Sandra Gabriella Ugorski. Catherine Elizabeth Unger. Stephen Wesley Valdez. Rada Madeverum Varma. Gianna Nicole Vasallo. Andriana Lynn Vendetti. Danielle Eleanor Ventry. Shannon Rose Vobis. Gianna Juliet Volpe. Antonia Victoria Vreeland. Rachel Christine Way. Bradley Madison Walker. Nicole Marie Walker. Ashley Nicole Watson. Julia Joyce Waters. Marlo Wearer. Marlo is the recipient of the Joseph J. Woods PhD Athletic Training Sports Medicine Outstanding Student Award. Congratulations, Marlo. Emma Gabrielle Weinberg. Chelsea Werner. Jordan Daly Worst. 
Megan Elizabeth Wetzelberger. Gabrielle Hannah Whitaker. Alexandra Christina Williams. Genevieve Catherine White. Callie Ann Williams. Jessica A. Williams. Tova Jean Williamson. Kelly Lynn Winterbottom. Blair Elizabeth Wershing. Julia Beth Wood. Madison Ann Wu. Shane Ryan Wonderly. Holly Nicole Zabkar. Riley Murphy Jazak. Nicole Ann Zaleski. Jean Zhu. Jenna Marie Zimmerman. Graziana Marie Zito. Michelle Nicole Zubko. I ask the candidates to please rise. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science with all of the rights privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You may be seated. Health science graduates, the faculty and the entire school is so proud of all you have accomplished. And on behalf of the faculty and staff of the School of Health Sciences, congratulations to all of today's graduates and thank you to Brian Donahue for his re inspiring remarks. I now ask Dr. Lisa O'Connor, Dean of the School of Nursing, to proceed to the degree area. <laughs> and it's my priv privilege to call forward Deborah Fisher, Assistant Dean of Student Services, to introduce School of Nursing candidates for degrees in PINs. Thank you, Dr. Thompson. I ask Corian Boyd, Associate Professor of Nursing, Eileen Herman, Clinical Assistant Professor of Nursing, and Rhea Sanford, Clinical Professor of Nursing, to proceed to the pinning area. The first pins were awarded to recognize selfless service to injured and dying soldiers in the Crimean War. Pinning became a tradition in Florence Nightingale's St. Thomas School of Nursing and later in schools of nursing across the United States. Our graduates today are receiving not only their degree from President Olean, but also their nursing pin. 
which is being pinned to each graduate's regalia by Professor Boyd. With these pins, we celebrate your journey and welcome you as colleagues into the profession of nursing. Wear it proudly. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the School of Nursing to the platform. Priscilla. Priscilla Acosta. Brunilda Alka. Anthe Akravoulis. <laughs> Emily Catherine Rose Altieri. <laughs> Danielle Catherine Badilio. Catherine Mackenzie Ball. Christine Lynn Barnett. Lauren Victoria Bergamini. Erica Ann Bloomberg. <laughs> Sophia Alexandra Bocanya. <laughs> Erica Rose. Bulky. <laughs> Michaela Elizabeth Brennan. <laughs> Sonia Y. Brevard. Annie Elizabeth Brown. Caitlin Rebecca Bruin. Alyssa Renee Aron. Eliza Sarah Bryan. Nicole Marie Bucci. Linda Nicole Buffington. Linda is the recipient of three awards. The Benjamin and Juliet Truwin Award for Academic Excellence in Nursing, the Alumni Association Academic Achievement Award for the School of Nursing, and the President's Scholarship Award. She is accompanied on stage by her mother, Tracy Buffington. Congratulations, Linda. <laughs> Heather Nicole Bushnell. Madison Page Cambray. Kristen Danielle Capetta. Jenna Lynn Capristo. Shannon. 
Christina Cardoza. Jillian Lewis Carr. Gina Lee Carano. Jeffrey Paul Cavano. Stephanie Lauren Cerrone. Carrie Rose Chiovari. Stephanie Ray Chickowitz. Abigail Vittoria Cantino. Nicole Hope Costello. Ryan Patrick Cowan. Lauren Elizabeth Cullen. Riley Deidre Cushing. Madison Ann Dahlberg. Ursula D.U.T. Clarissa Effie Davis. Renee Della Chevrotia. Vanessa Ray Del Guizo. <laughs> Jessica Marie DeMeo. <laughs> Rebecca Denning. <laughs> Ilaria De Pasqual. Emma Catherine Dillon. Zachary Emerson Dillon. Abigail Donna Damari. Kaziah Star Duarte. <laughs> Mackenzie Sarah Dugan. <laughs> Katie Renee Dunn. Phoebe Pauline Duran. Thank you. Ashley Elizabeth Durkin. Ashley is the recipient of three awards. The Benjamin and Juliet Truin Award for Academic Excellence in Nursing the Alumni Association Academic Achievement Award for the School of Nursing, and the President's Scholarship Award. She is joined on the stage by her parents, Christine and Ken Durkin. Congratulations, Ashley.
Marlena Fanto. Victoria Elizabeth Bashion. Victoria Lindsay Ferreira. Rachel Jordan Fisher. Alexandra Elizabeth Ford. Alexandra is the recipient of the Holistic Nursing Practice Award. Congratulations, Alexandra. Madison Marie Forte. Jenna Grace Gallagher. Julia Whitney Gaudet. <laughs> Melissa Ann Gino. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Graber. <laughs> Jameson John Graham. Nicholas Joseph Grasso. Erin Ann Greeley. Ashley Lynn Grenier. Kylie Holmes Griffin. Vanessa Lauren Groper. Francesca Rose Guido. Abigail Florence E. Haynes. Taylor Hamilton. Woo! Megan Amanda Hanna. Woo! Quinn Avery Hardesty. Yeah! Ashley Rose Harding. Courtney Ann Herzl. Kaylin Carol Hayes. Logan Lewis Hayes. Mackenzie Alice Humes. Nicole Elizabeth Hurler. <laughs> Ashley Ann Johnson. <laughs> Bryn McCahill Johnston. Alexis Christine Jones. <laughs> Carrie A. Jones. <laughs> Bianca Martina Caluta. Sarah Kate Kaufman.
Kimberly Teresa Nipstein. Nicole Carolina Krizanowski. Emma Jean Laredola. Sarah Emily Lepo. Elana Cecilia Leslie. Abigail Eleanor Lavangi. Maggie Elizabeth Lavangi. Cecilia May Lavashko. George T. Lloyd. Molly Marie Lewis. Jennifer H. Liu. Deanna Nicole Lupo. Celeste Claire Lynch. Taylor Mary Lyons. Kristen Marie McNeil. Brooke Kokoulis McCree. Catherine Emma Martin. Emily Ann Maxwell. Bailey Elizabeth McClure. Bailey is the recipient of the Judy Leahy Community Service Award. Congratulations, Bailey. Hannah Rose McCorkle. Madeline Ann McGowan. Jillian Doxy McGrew. Sarah Dolan McGurin. Nicole Christina McGurney. Colleen M. McKenna. Paige Denise McKenna. Delana Merker. Angela May Vallejo Miguel. <laughs> Hannah Rose Molino. <laughs> Rachel Ann Montesano. Naomi Elaine Moore.
Rachel Lynn Morin. Morgan Emmeline Nadeau. Haley Nicole Nayer. Sarah Kate Norton. Jennifer Claire Oberlander. Lauren Michelle O'Brien. Henrietta Marfoa Odame. Marlena Asafsky. Jessica Lynn Paolella. Charlene Girish Parikh. Alyssa Parka. Marina Victoria Parla Piano. Alexa Christine Paul. Gabrielle Jillian Pasmino. Cassidy Lee Peza <laughs> Bianca E. Porcaro Noel Catherine Power Nicole Lauren Provenzano Catherine Brenna Quinn. Justin James Ragazzino. Justin is the recipient of the Benjamin and Julia Truin Award for Professional Leadership in Nursing. Congratulations, Justin. Amina Rahamet. Andrew Christopher Ray. Melanie Elena Regan. Rebecca Pearl Revzin. Megan Rich. Julia I. Rinaldi. Allison Hope Ritz. Arlene D. Roberts. Megan Ellen Roca. Rachel Lee Roman. Jillian Megan Russerito. Heather Russo. Elizabeth A. Sam. Maya Asi Samba Green.
Lauren Jennifer San Filippo. Caitlin Marie Schmid. Eileen Elizabeth Siri. Carrie Helen Sewell. Renee A. Sherman Gauthier. Anna Michelle Stearns. Samantha Elizabeth Streff. Danielle Paige Sullivan. Haley Sullivan. Kayla Marie Sullivan. Nina Marie Sarabian. Jack C. Suriano. Piper Bates Swinton. Kristen Thibodeau. Allison J. Tierney. Erin Nicole Tomlin. Taylor Nicole Tryon. Gabriella Giovanna Varela. Rachel Lillian Walsh. Mary Teresa Waters. Audrey Brooke Weiner. Hillary Ann Wittenberg. Jillian Marie Wolf. Rebecca Marie Werfel. Katrina Young. Andre John Zumerchik. I ask the candidates to please rise. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Nursing, candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing.
by the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You may be seated. I now ask Eileen Herman, Clinical Assistant Professor of Nursing, to come forward and to lead our nursing graduates in the pledge. Thank you, Dean O'Connor. It's my privilege to ask our graduates in our audience to please rise and recite the nursing pledge with me. If there are any nurses in the audience, also please rise and recite the pledge with us. You'll find it on page 20. Page 20 in the program. I do solemnly pledge before this assembly, I think it's supposed to be together, <laughs> just like class. Okay. Together, I do solemnly pledge before this assembly to provide holistic care to all those in need of my disciplinary knowledge and skills. I will use clinical reasoning when providing nursing care. I will continue to seek new knowledge and assistance in knowledge development to guide nursing practice. I will enter into each nursing situation with an open mind. Through personal knowing, I will use myself therapeutically when interacting with patients. My care will be rooted in ethics as defined in the American Nurses Association Code of Ethics. I will engage in praxis to seek out and change social and political injustices that affect the health of individuals, communities, and populations. I will use my knowledge, skills, and beliefs to work as a member of the interdisciplinary healthcare team to provide safe, patient, and family-centered care. Thank you. You may be seated. I'm pleased to introduce our student speakers. First, we'll hear from Kip Edward Hopper from the School of Health Sciences. Kip is a biomedical sciences graduate from Forked River, New Jersey. Good morning. Thank you, Mark Thompson, for the kind introduction. And many thanks to the School of Health Sciences School of Nursing and the Platform Party for inviting me up here today. Students, honored guests, faculty, staff, and administrators, this momentous occasion unites these courageous human beings before us who aspire to improve the future of healthcare, ranging from scholars of nursing and medicine to all future professionals in allied health showcasing the diverse perspectives we need in order to prepare for the world beyond our classrooms. From an inspiration to serve others and in pursuit of benevolence, we have grown into our roles as the next generation of healthcare providers. Indeed, this is cause for celebration, yet while we are fortunate to stand tall today, we must never forget those who sit beneath the unending burdens within our health system the current drug crisis continues to consume lives indiscriminately, leaving no community untouched in the wake of an addiction and mental health crisis. Add to this plight the rising cost of health care, depriving citizens who form the backbone of this country from getting the help they deserve. Minority Americans, veterans, low-income families, all of whom deserve every right to equal care. Yet the statistics tell us we are failing them, every day. This is the world we are graduating into, my fellow students, and it is not pretty. 
But the world does not have to be so cruel. When we consider the word leader, we are often reminded of CEOs or politicians groomed into their positions, falsely illustrating the word leader as belonging to those in power. Do you know what I think? I think our charge nurses, our therapists, our social workers, and our medical technicians are all leaders in their own right. They show strength. They show strength in every setting, regardless of degree or position. In the same way, our experiences at Quinnipiac have shaped our ways of thinking and leading through problems. I think every student here today will someday see an absurd or failing function of our healthcare system, and we will have the opportunity to ask, why does it have to be this way? Dr. Vivek Murthy, a former US Surgeon General, sees this proactive and compassionate action as the single greatest decision we can make in life. We can choose love and kindness, which opens our eyes to patient-centered solutions beyond mere tests and procedures. Or we can choose fear and ignorance, which will only blind us and propagate our current circumstances. Class of 2019, let us recognize that human connectedness is the oldest and the strongest form of healing. Let us carry this torch of responsibility as the next generation of leaders, and let us inspire the same compassion and determination we witnessed throughout our years in the schools of health sciences and nursing. Thank you. Thank you, Kip. I'm pleased to introduce our School of Nursing student speaker, Justin James Ragazzino. Justin, Justin is a nursing graduate from Cheshire, Connecticut. Thank you, Dr. Thompson. Good morning, everyone. I would like to welcome all faculty, staff, family, friends, special guests, and especially the School of Nursing, class of 2019. I am honored to be here and have the opportunity to speak with you today. I'm going to keep this short, and hopefully in the next few minutes, I can leave you with something to think about. I'm going to tell you a few highlights and some of my greatest takeaways from these past four years. Quinnipiac has fostered our growth within a community of passionate professors and staff and offered us supportive services to help bring us to this point. I like to think back to freshman year and how far we've come from the first night we all gathered at the Bobcat. We met people who you probably haven't talked to since, but you also met people who would be by your side through the next four years, through both the highs and the lows, and who will continue to be for the rest of your life. I am sure we have all needed the support of the Quinnipiac community at one point or another, and I know, in one of the most vulnerable times of my life, I had more hands ready to help me than I could ever imagine. It is by an unfortunate series of events my dad could not be here today. In September of 2017, during my first semester of junior year, my mom and dad sat me down, called my brother who was living in Virginia, and told us my dad had been diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. Not knowing what this fully meant at the time, all I knew that the diagnosis wasn't good. My dad had beaten cancer before at a young age and was determined to fight again, even though he was told there was no cure. If you had the pleasure of knowing my dad, you knew that positivity and helping others was the way he chose to live every day. I'll never forget when I was 13 years old, my family and I headed to Cedar Point Amusement Park in Ohio. We had already hit a ton of traffic, and I don't know if you've ever seen how excited the kid gets for roller coasters, but as you can imagine, we are more than a little bit antsy to get there. About an hour away, my dad tells us we need to stop for gas. This is probably the worst thing you can hear after sitting in a car for hours. While at the gas station, my dad was approached by a man. The man had asked for help to pump his gas, as he did not know how. Can you guys guess which state he was from? Good old New Jersey. <laughs> the entire time my family was yelling at him from the car, yet my dad ignored us and finished helping the stranger. My dad got in the car and said something to us that has always resonated in my mind. He told my family that he had done his good deed for the day and he did not need to expect anything else out of it. My dad began his chemotherapy treatments and was told the tumor was shrinking. However, the effects of chemo on his body were not kind. 
My dad would end up passing away four and a half short months after his diagnosis. He spent his last four months getting his affairs in order to ensure my family would be taken care of. My dad never complained and always carried a smile on his face, even on his worst days. As sick and tired as he was, he never failed to reach out to people on a daily basis to try and do his good deed. Something as small as making a phone call to our homebound neighbor just to give them some company made the world of difference. I am fortunate to have embraced his same values and I try to carry his same outlook on life. I share this story with you because many of you already embrace this way of life just by virtue of being a nursing and health science major. You all understand the concept of doing good for other people simply because there's nothing more genuinely rewarding than lending a helping hand. Not too far from now, a number of people will be faced with their fair share of roller coaster like experiences. Many of us, including myself, have yet to realize the full potential as healthcare professionals. I thought of a few examples that may highlight what our future careers will look like, other than playing cards in the break room, of course. Some of us here will bring a new life into this world and facilitate the first human connection when you place a child on their mother's chest, a miracle of nature that creates an eternal bond. Many of us here will hold a patient's hand as they receive a terminal diagnosis and in such shock they have no idea how to react or may just need a shoulder to cry on. Some of us here will be the only person sitting beside a patient when the time to leave this earth finally arrives and you will be the person to help them pass on. These opportunities do have their costs. The top three spots for occupation burnout are held by healthcare workers. Our professions are mentally, emotionally, and physically taxing. A job where you go home at night and barely have enough energy to cook a grilled cheese and then fall asleep while eating it. Just remember, a simple act of kindness can change someone's entire day and even their life. It's the effects of that simple act on both your patients and their loved ones that will make the grilled cheese dinners worth it. I hope through the roller coaster of these experiences, you discover your passion and determine a need for change. We are all capable of such great things, and I have seen some of the quietest individuals in this room make the biggest difference in a patient's day, so never doubt yourself. Stay humble and remember who you are. Stay true to your values and let them guide you to make a difference. We are capable of so many great things and there is so little time, so waste none of it. I'd like to leave everyone today with a challenge. I challenge you to make a conscious effort every day you wake up to do something good for someone. With no expectation of something in return, do your good deed, just the way my dad taught me to. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. It's now my privilege to introduce Kristen Marie Gaida, Quinnipiac alumna, to officially welcome our graduates as alumni. I ask the graduates to please rise. It is my honor to stand before you as a member of the classes of 2009 and 2014. I now invite you to move your tassel to the left of your cap. This simple act signifies your transition from student to alumnus and the continuation of your unique, meaningful, and lifelong relationship with Quinnipiac. I'm especially pleased to have you all as fellow alumni. Congratulations.
Congratulations again to all of our graduates. As we close today's ceremonies, I have a couple of announcements. Only the platform party and faculty will recess out. Our graduates and families can proceed to the Rocky Top Student Center next door for a reception. Transportation to the Rocky Top Student Center for those needing assistance is available. Once outside, you'll see signs for the shuttle on the left. Now would everyone please stand for the recessional. Thank you, congratulations, have a great day.